Everyone has secrets, even a Rolex authorized dealer. Today, we'll be exposing their secrets one by one, and we have absolutely no idea what the consequences will be, but I'm sure you're dying to know. Before we kick things off, I want you to remember a few things. First is that a Rolex authorized dealer is a Rolex customer. You, an ordinary person, are not a Rolex customer. You are actually a customer of the authorized dealer. Sorry to disappoint, but the truth is that Rolex doesn't really think of you that much. They think a lot about their authorized dealers, though. The authorized dealer has sales targets as well as all of the other requirements that come with being an authorized dealer. I mean, no pressure, right? With the goal of becoming an authorized dealer, they must meet specific sales targets, so they need to have that identity, that character, that certain Rolex charm. This may sound a bit complicated and a lot of pressure, but it is actually 100% true. Rolex actually expects a lot from their authorized dealers, and they expect them to raise the bar every single time. Since these dealers must now meet sales targets, they must sell different models. They have to sell several different models as a requirement for their sales targets. As you can expect, they need to do everything they can to meet their sales targets. If you show up to a Rolex authorized dealer and ask for a Daytona, they will not automatically sell it to you. Why? Because you are basically just some random person popping out of nowhere and they have no idea who you are and they are doubtful if you could really purchase a watch from them. Authorized dealers top focus, again, is to achieve their sales target. They're not looking for a buddy, a pal, in the sense that they may appear to be one in order to accomplish sales targets, but their main mission here is to meet those targets. One important thing to consider with Rolex authorized dealers is that it differs greatly depending on the country or city. If the country or city is wildly rich, they will probably laugh at you if you step in since they can read you from head to toe and know you don't have any cash. They see you're not a regular customer and that you're just here on vacation, some random tourist, so you're not actually helping them meet their sales target and they will not even try to sell you a Rolex. But if you happen to stumble across a less expensive and modest part of town, you'll have a greater possibility because you'll be helping them in meeting their sales targets. A wider range of people will help them achieve this. You now have a massively higher possibility of actually buying that watch. They only get a limited number of specific models. Plus, to be able to reach their sales goals, Rolex authorized dealers would frequently sell to gray dealers. Yes, it is a dark, dark secret. Now. Why would they sell to gray dealers? These dealers can just walk right in and buy a number of models. They'll buy one Rolex model, two models, maybe even three models. They're looking to buy other models that the authorized dealer is having trouble liquidating and selling. Aside from the popular ones, they will buy those less popular watches and in that way, they're helping them out. So the gray market dealer will help the Rolex authorized dealer in reaching their sales targets. Well, if you are rich, and I mean really rich, you can just head over to the store, buy those rare Rolex models with jewels or perhaps some diamonds, and you'll be helping them meet their sales targets. Now, they may say that they'll put you on the waiting list. Now for another secret. There are a lot of sales staff levels or ranks in a certain authorized dealer. There's the junior sales staff and the senior staff. Together with the manager, the senior sales staff now have far greater power. They are the ones who deal with the gray dealers and nobody else knows. This is a big, big secret. They won't be telling you because, again, they have no clue who you are. If you enter the store, they have no way of knowing if you're a flipper. The important thing to remember is that they generally do not know you. For example, if you're a gray dealer whom they personally know, and also the flipper, they'll naturally talk to you and do business with you. Since you'll be purchasing their inventory, which has been tough for them to sell, and you'll be purchasing it for a set amount of time, you'll be a regular customer. You'll be helping them in a way, helping them reach their long-term sales targets. Once you walk into that door, they're going to check if you're a flipper or not. Whether you're a flipper who's going to give them a headache and cause some serious problems, or a mere small-time flipper. They're not permitted to sell to recognized flippers since Rolex authorized dealers are required to follow specific guidelines. Let's be honest, they usually do, but they keep it super quiet and top secret. Those people who are already in contact with them can do this. Enjoying this video so far? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. To become one of their favorite gray market dealers, you must earn their trust. Let's imagine a regular customer wants to buy a Rolex GMT Master or another famous model. Most probably, you'll interact with a junior sales staff who will respond by putting you on a wait list. 
they'll ask you for a name and contact information. It can sometimes be written on a piece of paper. Authorized dealers are quite different from one another. Since they know you're just a normal, random person looking for a famous model, in order to get rid of you, they will make you feel special even if they think otherwise. You can't actually help them meet their sales targets, so they will most likely not sell to you. Now, have you heard the recent news? There were riots, there were break-ins. In Rolex authorized dealers, I mean, isn't that crazy? Plus, it's really alarming, which is why they now keep their watches in a safe. Sure, they have a few models on display, but by the end of the day, once they lock up, those watches are being kept in a safe. Now, you can't just go on breaking some windows to get some watches. Don't keep your hopes up because you'll be getting empty boxes instead. So remember that Rolex watches are already being kept in a safe. The latest Rolex approach is that they will have models on display that you may try on, but can't actually buy. I think it's the next loop as people are fully aware of the Rolex watch shortage. Why is there a Rolex watch shortage at authorized dealers? Well, it's pretty obvious, gray market dealers. They must do a lot of business to reach sales targets, so you might see empty shelves at a Rolex authorized dealer. You can simply look at the watches on display and not buy any of it, but it is indeed possible that you can find new, unused, untouched Rolex models. How? By buying online from different gray market resellers, a Daytona perhaps, maybe a Submariner or even GMT Master. Models that are not available at a Rolex authorized dealer. Well, to begin with, that's where it all started because they actually sold to them. Rolex authorized dealers have a set of rules, rules that they must strictly follow or else face some really bad consequences. One is that they cannot charge more than the manufacturer's suggested retail price or MSRP for a watch. A few have, but it's against the law and if found, they risk losing their authorized status. Although they could sell MSRP watches to someone who's looking to buy like 10 watches or more. Perhaps some models fit for the ladies, the less popular models or even smaller models. So this certain person should be able to sell these watches to you for a higher price, allowing that person to actually make money. So to hit those sales targets, the Rolex authorized dealer fuels the gray market dealers. But the hard truth that everyone should know is that there is no Rolex watch shortage. There's a Rolex watch shortage at authorized dealers though, something that needs to be pointed out and that everyone should know. Yes, even a Rolex authorized dealer has some secrets. I mean, who doesn't have one? And today their secrets have finally been exposed. Also, they must follow a set of rules. It's not an unlimited access situation here. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think that these secrets are an eye opener or something else? Please let us know in the comments section below. And if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you next time in Above First Class.